Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime. My name's Cheryl and I've got a story that's very close to my heart today to read to you. It's all about a little girl named Lucy who loves to come and visit the library. We see lots of children coming and visit, visiting us in the library. And we're very sad at the moment that you're not allowed to come, so we hope we see you really soon. But in the meantime, we hope you enjoy Lucy's book by Natalie Jane Pryor and Cheryl Orsini, and it's with permission from Lowfield Children's Books. Every Saturday morning, Lucy and her mum visited the library. One day, Mrs Bruce, the librarian, showed Lucy a book that had just come in. I think you'll enjoy this one, she said. Well, librarians are very good at that, helping you choose books that you might enjoy. Lucy started reading her book in the car going home. She read it at lunch and all through the afternoon. She read the book in the bathtub and at bedtime. At church on Sunday, she shared it with Ethan and Tilly. On Monday, Lucy started reading it all over again. Do you ever do that? Do you ever love a book so much that you want to read it over and over and over again? Next Saturday, Lucy's book had to go back to the library. Ethan and Tilly raced to get it from the returns trolley and Tilly won. Wow, it's the most popular book ever. The following Saturday, after Tilly returned it, Lucy had to shake the crumbs out of the pages. Hmm, arrowroot, she said. I think so. Tilly's been eating some milk arrowroot biscuits while she's eating the book. Amelia, from the ballet, wanted to read the book, so Lucy extended it for her. Oh, that's very nice, sharing her book with a friend. Amelia loaned it to her brother James who shared it with his friend, Ben, who returned it to the school library by mistake. Oh, that happens all the time. The school librarian sent Lucy's book back to Mrs. Bruce five minutes before closing time. It was borrowed by Lucy's neighbours, the wild McGarrigals. I wonder what makes them so wild. I wonder if we'll find out. All the McGarrigals read Lucy's book. Meg was excited. Addie was scared. <laughs> and Tom McGarrigal couldn't put it down. Even the baby had a turn. Hmm, don't know whether the baby's so much reading it as having been a bit of a munch. The McGarrigals always returned their books late. Lucy watched the library anxiously. She wanted to take her book on holiday. At Honeycomb Bay, Lucy made sandcastles, rode the surf, and watched dolphins and whales. Oh, sounds like a marvellous holiday. On the last day, she and her book went to sea in a rubber boat and came home in a helicopter. Oh, it says rescue on the helicopter. I wonder if something has gone wrong with their boat. They might have had a problem with it. After that, Aidan and Zoe borrowed Lucy's book and took it to the zoo. I think they might have read it to the penguins. And Lucy's cousin, Manny, made it into a banana sandwich. Ew. Leah, Lucy's friend from the park, flew with it to China. My goodness, the book's been everywhere. And Lucy took it with her when Aunt Sophie married the dentist. By now, Lucy had shared her book with all her friends and learned it off by heart. But the next time she went to the library, her book was gone. I'm sorry, Lucy, said Mrs. Bruce. I know that book's your favourite, but it's been borrowed so many times it's worn out. And see, that happens to books, unfortunately. They're not made out of cast iron. They do get worn out. Lucy ran to the bookshop with her mum. I'd love to help, said the bookshop man, but the book's just not here anymore. Lucy's dad searched on the internet. Aunt Sophie and Uncle Dentist tried to buy a copy on their honeymoon without success. Oh, that's a sad truth about books. Sometimes they're not in the library, they're not in a bookstore, they're just not being made anymore. It's a real shame. 
Now that Lucy's book was gone, she felt sad whenever she went to the library. The other books were just not the same. On the day before her birthday, Lucy and her friends went to play in the square. Suddenly, Amelia clutched Lucy's arm and pointed. Among the market stalls selling vegetables and old clothes, the friends of the library were holding for sale. Lucy felt a prickle go up her spine. I couldn't believe. Go, Lucy! shouted her friends. Lucy began to run. She pushed past people with dogs and children on bicycles and dived into the box on the table. Oh, look, she waved excitedly. It's my book. Lucy's friends put all their pocket money together. It was just enough to buy the book for Lucy's birthday. We can share it, Lucy promised them. The book belonged to everyone who had ever read it, but Lucy was the one who got to take it home. Oh, aren't books just like that? They can be shared amongst many people. And now that I've read this story to you, it can be shared to anyone who watches it over the internet. Isn't that a nice thought? Well, I would love to know what your favourite story is. If you'd like to put a comment at the end of the video about your favourite book, and why you like it so much, why it's your absolute favourite, I'd love to read them and reply to them. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. See you next time. Bye.